you may be seated. is now in session. As we scheduled, today's proceeding will be the hearing of the witness Suong Si Kun and Ong Tong Hương, who might be the alternate witness they will be questioned by the defense. Before I hand the floor to the defense, Mr. Deutsch Perry, could you report the attendance of the parties and individuals to the proceeding? Deutsch Perry, Mr. President, all parties are present, except the accused Ian Sari, who is present in the holding cell downstairs. The accused Ian Sari, through his counsel, requests to have his direct presence in the courtroom for the whole day proceeding. The letter of waiver has been submitted to the Greffier. As for the witness, Sung Si Kun, he is present in the waiting room to be called by the chamber. Ong Tong Hương, who will be present at the ECC at 20 past 10. Thank you.
from Tri Lutheran. The President, uh, Judge Cartwright, you may now proceed. Thank you, President. Uh, counsel for Yang Sari, the reason that uh, the bench has been taking a little while to discuss uh, the um, request made is that we have received a certificate from the uh, doctor saying that uh, Mr. Yang Sari uh, is feeling dizzy and unable to concentrate. We just wish to be reassured that you had already been aware of that information. Uh, before making the application for him to remain in the, in the holding cells. Uh, the doctor came to no medical conclusion in the certificate. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honors, and good morning to everyone in and around the courtroom. Uh, the, the waiver was uh, filed uh, before we actually met with Mr. Ng Suri. At least uh, I met with him for approximately... Uh, 20, 25 minutes. Uh, when we submitted the waiver, he appeared to be uh, rather okay, uh, hence why we submitted it. Uh, then uh, during our conversations with him, uh, he indicated that he was uh, too dizzy to follow the proceedings and too exhausted. We then brought it to the attention uh, and requested that he be re-examined. So uh, this is now uh, new information, and obviously, uh, with this new information, he is not waiving his uh, his presence. Uh, that is, he wishes to participate, albeit from the holding cell, with these two critical witnesses. To be to be absolutely clear on that, uh, if there were other witnesses, uh, I'm, I'm confident that uh, we would be much much more flexible and Mr. Inkshiri would, would be willing to waive, but given the, in light of the, the, the next two witnesses or the witnesses that are on the stand right now, um, he does not wish to waive his presence. He wish, and we think that it's best that he's able to concentrate and assist us because he does assist us. We do consult with him, and he does give us instructions. Thank you. The President, court officer is uh, court greffier or officer is now instructed to, to bring the doctor into the courtroom to clarify the position concerning the health status of Mr. Ian Thury. The President. Good morning, Doctor. Could you please? First of all, tell the chamber your name and how old you are and your occupation, in particular your function at the state hospital and the additional function at the ECCC. Response. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. I am Gum Sam San, a doctor. I am 37 years old. I work at the Cambodian Soviet Friendship Hospital. I have worked there from 1991 until this date. I am now working in the general disease section and I have additional function to monitor the health status of the accused persons before ECCC, the President. Thank you. Could you also tell the court the update on your medical report concerning the health status of Mr. Insery? Please tell the chamber 
as in your capacity a monitoring doctor and what would be your advice concerning the finding on your uh, medical checkup on Mr. Ingsari? Response. I already checked uh, his th health status on two occasions. First at 8.15 a.m. And the, the, the condition was stable. He is stable. However, he has to visit the toilet uh, too often than the previous day. At that time, I recommended that he should, or the chamber should allow him to uh, observe the proceedings from his holding cell. However, at nine and uh, at ten past nine a.m., he develops another problem. When I met him, I noted that he still visited the bathroom very often, and for that uh, he felt uh, dizzy and fatigued. He indicated that uh, his feeling was different uh, from uh, normal, his memory uh, declines, and he thought that uh, he would not uh, be able to attend the proceedings today. And uh, with regard to memory issue, I am not in my capacity to uh, assess uh, uh, this uh, properly, but this is what he told me. The President, uh, fellow judges of the bench, uh, would you wish uh, to put some questions to the doctor? You may now proceed, uh, Judge Laviania, first. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Doctor, from a purely clinical standpoint, can you tell us? whereas there are changes between the first examin examination you did this morning and the second one. In light of remarks made by Mr. Ying Sari, uh, can you tell us whether those uh, um, remarks made can be supported theoretically? You have said that there are no changes in blood pressure are there any other changes that you would like to tell us about, or there are no clinical signs that would support what Mr. Ying Sari has said? Response. The change that we have observed uh, is that he has to visit uh, the toilet uh, too often. And to me, because he has to get up to walk to the bathroom and due to his health implications uh, getting up a lot walking to the toilet often uh, really makes it dif uh, his health or it makes him become more tired and at 10 past 9 he indicated that uh, he was very dizzy and fatigued, and he felt confused, and his memory was poor, that uh, too poor that he could not observe the proceedings. J'entends bien, Monsieur. If I understood what you said correctly, Doctor. Um, you, you, you know that Mr. Ying Sari said he was uh, feeling dizzy, but you have looked at the clinical signs which support the remark that he was feeling dizzy. 
Do you have any observations that would support what Mr. Yengsari had said? And at the end of your examination, what are your conclusions? Are your conclusions that accused person Yengsari can or cannot follow proceedings today, whether he can follow them from his uh, holding cell downstairs? Response. To me, the ability to assess his health status at the beginning, I could say that he was dizzy, uh, feeling dizzy. And I uh, noted that because every time he was walking to the, toi uh, the bathroom, he had to hold his bed uh, to keep his balance. And when he came back, I also observed that uh, his uh, breath was shorter and fatigue, and I confirmed that uh, he indeed uh, felt dizzy, and that happened to him. But when it comes to his loss of memory, I cannot conclude uh, whether it was the case. Donc, est-ce que votre conclusion... So, is your conclusion that the accused person needs to rest today? Response. With regard to his physical fitness, It is appropriate uh, that he lie down in the holding cell to observe proceedings from there. However, whether he understands or uh, he remain focused enough to observe the proce proceedings or not, uh, it is hard to decide. Uh, but it is indeed uh, he would like uh, to hear to fully observe the proceedings uh, to his best capacity.
the president. Thank you very much, uh, doctor. You may now return to your seat. Today hearing as scheduled is deferred because Mr. Ingsari is not healthy enough. The President, uh, according to the discussion, the Chamber wishes to adjourn the hearing today due to the fact that uh, Mr. Ying Sari has some health concern as he f feels dizzy and he has problem with memory. He cannot remember things clearly and he reserves his right uh, to participate in the testimonies of the two witnesses before us who are testifying on the roles of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The Chamber wishes to hear from parties, other parties to the proceeding whether they would wish to make or observe something. The President, Counsel for Mr. Nguyen Chia, you may now proceed. Counsel Son Arun, on behalf of Mr. Nguyen Chia, I feel that even though an accused person is allowed to observe the proceeding from holding cell where he or she has no concentration or lose a focus on the proceedings. He or she shall uh, be allowed to uh, rest and there should not be a hearing. The President, the hearing today is adjourned. The next session will be resumed by 1.30 p.m. this afternoon and during this afternoon session, the examination will be the same. We will start hearing testimony of Mr. Sung Sikun. The questions continue to be put from counsel for Kyu Som Pon. Security personnel are now instructed to bring Mr. Nguyen Chi and Kyu Som Pon to downstairs and uh, have them brought uh, to the courtroom by 1.30 this afternoon. The court is adjourned.